Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be trying some She Glam makeup. I've got a She Glam eyeshadow palette. I've also got a She Glam Pro Base palette. So basically it's got uh, one cream in here and then three powders, but I believe for some highlighters there might be blush and whatnot. It is the peachy one. And I also have a little freckle pen as well from She Glam. I didn't pick up anything else, it's not going to be a full face of makeup from She Glam, but I did pick up these up. I've never tried She Glam before. Obviously She Glam is part of Shein and yeah, it is what it is. I have decided to test it out and try it. Um, I wanted to get this She Glam obviously palette because it is for the Virgo and I'm a Virgo. Um, there really wasn't any other palette that kind of interests me at the moment so I thought it'd be perfect just for me to get one that kind of makes sense and yeah I'm just going to do a little bit of makeup and then we'll see what it looks like. It is somewhat of a green palette. I do have a sort of khaki green uh, top on right now but you can't really see it. It kind of looks black. And I'm excited about doing the freckles, to be honest, because I have never done fake freckles before, so that should be interesting. I have done a quick little base, just a little bit of primer, a little bit of foundation and concealer, popped on some uh, lip oil from Colourpop, but other than that, I don't have anything else on. Um, so I figured, let's start with, do, 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 do. I don't know. <laughs> Let's start. I'm going to start with the eyeshadow. I like doing I like doing like a quick little base eyeshadow and then I finish off the face because I'm not sure, you know, I, I never know how much to put on my cheeks depending on what my eyes look like. I kind of feel like it needs to be balanced. So let's go in with this eyeshadow palette. First of all, it is so stunning. I don't care what anybody says. This is absolutely stunning. I think it's gorgeous. And then the actual palette packaging looks the same. Um, I just received this today, so I haven't done anything, I haven't swatched it, I haven't done absolutely anything. I haven't even, like, taken a picture. I should take a picture of it, to be honest, because I, you know, before I obviously disrupt it. But it is very green, so I don't usually... To be honest, I, I went off greens for a really, really long time, and now I've been going into greens the last month. I've been really into them, and I've also bought a few eyeshadow palettes with green in them. So I'm on my green phase right now, which was unexpected, but this has got this lovely sort of, um, I imagine it's gonna be a topper shade. It's got, got a little bit of glitter in it, but not sure, I don't think it is a glitter shade. I think it's gonna be more of a creamy topper shade. I've got two um, sort of shimmery satins here. These are all mattes. This one also looks a little bit like a satin though. So yeah, it'll be interesting. These two look very similar on camera, but this is a matte and that is a slight satin shimmer. So yeah, let me take a quick picture of this before I destroy it and then we'll get started. Okay, I'm back. The camera eye angle might have changed slightly, but anyway, let's go straight into this. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. However, there's really not a whole lot that I can do. I've got to go one way or the other, which is basically green. So I'm just going to pick this one that's kind of more fluffier. They don't have any names on them or anything. And I'm going to go in with the slider shade here. This is called Patient. So it's kind of this sort of limey green color. I don't know, there's not too much pigment so far. So I haven't got anything on my eyelids. I never put any eyeshadow primer or sort of base at all when I do my eyeshadow. So, you know, I'm just going to do it the way that I do anything. And, you know, this is just a first impressions. Obviously, I need to play around with the palette a little bit to really get my feeling for it. So far, I think this is a really beautiful color, though. I really actually kind of like this color. It's definitely... A little bit even like chartreuse I don't know if that's coming across on camera but it's very it's much it's a very like grassy green you know when you like stain your your uh, your jeans in grass in the summer and they end up kind of looking like this color I kind of like that that's kind of cool I wish I could just keep it as that I like little simple looks but I will keep going there was a little bit of kick up on the pan but I as far as I can see and I don't really think there's that much fallout, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go in with this sort of grungy, brownish, greenish shade. This one is called Reliable. 
So I don't know. I, are Virgos supposed to be reliable? I don't know. You know what I have noticed? And I, I don't know if it's just because I'm a Virgo I'm noticing this. But I do feel that Virgos are the first people to shout out that they're a Virgo. You know, I, I think we're very proud to be Virgos. And that's great. But at the same time, why are we proud to be Virgos? Because notoriously, we are highly critical people. You know, we are so critical that we put people off sometimes. We've got great qualities, but we've also got some really nasty qualities. And I don't know why we're so proud of that. You know, we're just so proud to be Virgos. I don't know what it is, but I am. I am proud to be a Virgo. My dad's a Virgo. He's exactly the same way. We both, like, are a little too soon. We're very proud to be Virgos. And my mom and my brother are Capricorn. So, like, it's like, you know, us against them sometimes, which is kind of fun. That shade was pretty much the same. I like how, like, grungy it got. Honestly, I, I'm kind of digging this look. I think it looks pretty nice so far. And the shades have been pretty nice. Um, honestly, it's going to really depend on how these shimmer slash satins perform and the, obviously this beautiful one over here. I'm going to go in with this one, which is the more of the, like, this is called Modest and it is a grungier colour, It's but it kind of goes in with what I've already got. And I'm just going to go in with my finger. It's actually really soft. I expected these to be really dry feeling. There are some shimmer shades from high-end palettes that I have or expensive palettes that are really stiff and really dry and these are actually, this is really soft. I'm really impressed. I think this is really nice. Gosh, then I've got more palettes. I don't know. That, that felt great on my finger. Lots and lots of, um, I don't know, it had a lot of pigmentation. I think this whole palette so far has been really pigmented. Where's my little doodah? Baby wipes are the best thing ever invented. Obviously, we buy so many because we have a son and uh, <laughs> we need them. But I also always have a packet next to me when I do my makeup because my hands always get filthy. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, so you know it. I'm going to go in with this shade. I want to see what it looks like. I'm going to pop it right in the center there. See how it feels. Oh my gosh, this is a glitter. I didn't think it was going to be a glitter. I thought it would be a lot thinner and I thought it would be a topper shade, but it is a glitter. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Well, wow. That just took that to a whole new level that I wasn't expecting. Oh my word. Why didn't I know that was a glitter? Even looking at it, there's some shades that look like that and they're not glitters. I know the Huda Beauty ones, they kind of look like that. Looks a little bit like a um, Super Shock shadow as well, in a way. But it is a glitter. Holy smokes, what have I done? Oh my goodness. Wow, that has gotten everywhere, but it's very pretty. I know you're not supposed to put glitter directly on your eyelids, but you know, I live dangerously and I do what I want and you know, I think I'll be all right. I'll just make sure that I wipe it off properly. But that, wow. Okay, now that, that that's so bright, I didn't think it was going to be like that. As soon as I put my finger in there, I knew that, I knew that uh, something had gone wrong. I'm going to have to deepen up this look a little bit because it's a little bit more, it's a little bit like one dimensional right now. And that kind of took away a lot of the grunginess that I had going on. So I'm going to go in with this, um, which one should I go in? I think I'm going to go in with Witty, which is this one, not, not this one, because it's kind of a satin. I want to go in with this one, just deepen it up a little bit. Yeah, I like the, the way the mattes are performing for sure. Just going to go in and just deepen out around the outer V. Honestly, super impressed with how this is looking so far. And just the, in terms of quality, you know, this is this feels a lot nicer than Primark. This feels in some ways nicer than Revolution, you know, like Makeup Revolution. Um, yeah, maybe even nicer than Essence. I haven't tried Catrice eyeshadow, but honestly, this is really quite nice. Okay, 
not to shoot my own hole, but I really like this. I have to, uh, let me just go in with this grungy shade Reliable again. I'm going to do that under the lid. Oh no, let me know if you've tried Shiklan and what you think of them. I know that a lot of people don't want to purchase from them, um, which is fine. I mean, they do state that they are cruelty free and everything, but obviously they are in association or basically the same as Shein. And there are problematic, problematic things with Shein, but like all brands have problematic things. I don't know. I know that doesn't sort of um, help my argument at all. But it kind of makes me feel better inside when I buy from these. And I'm like, well, you know, these other brands, you know, I'm a little bit of a hypocrite. So don't judge me on that. Um, well, I'm going to go in with this lighter sort of limey green. This one's called Faithful. And I'm going to go underneath in that shade. I also want to say so far these brushes have been fine. That I haven't had any issues. I know I had one brush that was kind of iffy looking. But so far I feel like... You know the eyeshadow is coming off the brush absolutely fine i'm not having any issues with blending at all not that i do a whole lot of blending to be honest but you know what i mean interesting i kind of like this i do i do like it there is quite a bit of fallout with that glitter though i will say that's the only issue and had it not been like a full-on glitter shade i would have been happier didn't realize it was. That's a little bit of a shame, to be honest. Um, but it's not going to stop me from using the palette because I do think it is very, very nice. I'm actually really, really happy with the grungy tones. And even without that, you can make a really, really beautiful look. And I can dip into another shade from another palette if I want like some sort of brightness because there isn't any inner corner shade in here that I would like to use. So what I'm probably going to do is use the highlighter in the face palette for my inner corner, but we'll see what that looks like. All right, so this is the palette. It is the Peachy 3D Pro Face Palette. So let me show you what it looks like. I have already looked at it. I did a whole unboxing of Sheen because I did Sheen clothing haul. Um, which you might have already seen, but if you haven't, just go check that out on my channel. If it interests you, if it doesn't, then just don't bother. But yeah, it looks like this, and then these are the shades. So there is one cream here, and then there are three shades here. Obviously, this would be a beautiful uh, blush. This looks like a highlighter, and then this is another highlighter. And then this one, I imagine, would be a really nice creamy bronzer so that's what I'm going to try and use it as yes okay first let me just swatch them I think this one is that really pale white one mm, I could do that as an inner corner it doesn't have a super amount of uh like impact this is this the second one that one is a lot prettier actually I think I might do that one this white one is a bit disappointing in terms of the swatch but this one is this one and it's very pretty and I think I might do that in my inner corner and also um, as a highlighter on the cheeks. This is obviously the blush which is going to be peachy tone. Oh that looks pretty. It's not super pigmented but honestly I don't mind. I think you can build it up and it is very shimmery so I probably won't want to put too much on. And then let me just see what this cream shade is all about not sure oh is this a highlighter maybe this isn't even a bronzer this just looks like a cream i don't know that's like a cream highlighter hmm. i'm gonna go in with that one first anyway just to see what it's like and i will try to use it as a bronzer or like i'll try to put it where i would normally put my bronzer so i'm just gonna use sort of a brush like this and we'll just see if it's dark enough to do anything I don't know. Can you see anything? I don't think I can see much. I think a little bit's coming off. It's it's very, very, it's a very light shade. You know what? This is going to be great for summer because I don't like to, because I as I get more tan, I've got a little bit of a tan. I mean, it looks a little bit red because I wasn't too careful today. But as I get more tan, um, I don't usually put too much bronzer on because I'm already kind of bronzed and this might be nice as like a topper just to put over like you know the areas where I should be bronzed. So 
yeah, I don't know. I can't really tell if that's done anything, to be honest. I don't think it has. I think if it has, it's very, very light and I can hardly see it. Um, let's go in with the, what is this? This is a blush. Let's go in with the blush. This one I would like to see some sort of difference because it does, yeah, this has got a beautiful sheen to it. Holy smokes. This is beautiful. This might be my, my new uh, summer palette, just to have that beautiful sheen, you know, when you don't really want to wear a lot of makeup, but you want still some color to your cheeks and your face. And yeah, that's actually really pretty. Again, not super noticeable, but it also might be this lighting in fairness. If I was in the sun, it might look absolutely horrendous. So far it looks okay. Um, yeah, pretty. And then I'm going to go in with the highlighter. So I'm just going to use one of these newer brushes. I didn't use a new brush for those other two, but let me just try and see what this looks like with this one. You see, everything is so shiny that you might not really notice. Although it's pretty noticeable on my nose. But the the, uh, the blush was so shiny and obviously the bronzer was so shiny that I'm just going to be a little shine ball at the moment. I haven't used any mattifying like powder, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to put on some mascara and actually first, yeah, no, let me do that first. Oh no, I've got my freckle pen. Let's do that first. Do I do the freckles before I do the powder? I don't really know. Yeah, let's do the freckles first. So this one I got is the She Glam Freck Please Freckle Tint and it's in the shade Fawn, which I think is their lightest shade. And it is one of these sort of like brush tips. So I'm really like, don't know what I'm doing with this, but I do get freckles every once in a while. And it would be really nice if I can oh. oh oh my gosh look what just happened it's all right I'll just put it over here hmm I don't feel like okay that cheek is horrendous look at that my nose looks okay. Okay, the thing is, I can just wipe it off, which looks fine. Okay, my nose seems fine. I think I just need to go a little bit slower. All right, let's go a little bit slower. And let's just be a little bit more exact with where I'm doing. I do have a beauty mark there, so I'm just going to deepen it up. Does it look like I just have a dirty face or does it look like freckles? I have a beauty mark here too. Is it worth? Mm. Mm. I have one here. And I have one here. And one here. I have lots of little beauty marks. Okay, so I've seen other people do this and sometimes you can dab it out to make it seem less pigmented but what I'm noticing with this one is once I dab it out it tends to smudge quite a bit and I don't think that that's what I want it's also pretty hard to get an even amount on my face because I have to sort of like dab it and then I might mess up do you know what we are going for it it's gotten all messy again all right, I don't know if that is how I would like to have it. I do need to play around with it a little bit more and see what I like. <laughs> it does look a little strange on me, but I'm just not used to it. I do usually get freckles in the summer, but they're not as prominent as this anymore. When I was younger, they were a lot more prominent. So um, I'm just not used to seeing that. So I don't know if I like it. 
but that's where I'm going to leave it as. Ooh. All right, let me, I'm just going to go in really quickly with some powder, put some mascara on, finish up my lips, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. I ended up keeping my lips as they were because honestly, this eye look is pretty popping and I didn't want to take away from that. And I think green and pink always goes pretty nicely if you do it right. So yeah, I really like this. This is the, the Lux Lip Oil from ColourPop in the shade Paper Pansy and I really, really do enjoy it. So yeah, I popped on some mascara. I did dab my face a little bit with the Glowish, the Huda Beauty Glowish uh, powder. And then I also sprayed my face with some NYX Dewy Spray. So I powdered and then I made it dewy again, but I kind of like it. And honestly, I do think that I'm happy with all of these items. Now, obviously the freckle pen or whatever this is, is a little bit tricky. I've never used it. Could be use it or it could be just this brush tip is not my favorite application to be able to do it. Um, I, I definitely need more practice because honestly, this is the first time I've ever put freckles on my face. <laughs> so, and I really do like it. I, I'm so happy to have got this. Um, I couldn't tell you what the price was, but I do think it was pretty affordable. But out of the three items, obviously, that I have used, that would be probably the weakest one. I really do like this face palette. I know it's not super pigmented, but also it might be the lighting. Um, obviously, I tried every single shade. Oh, I haven't done the little pop of the inner corner. Let's do that. So this one, I think I'm going to go in with this one. I'm just going to do a little pop, just a little, little poppy. Yeah, you see the difference? Very, very nice. So yeah, I actually really like this palette because I think it's gonna be perfect for the summer for me because I, as my skin clears up, usually looks much nicer in the summer. I, I prefer like the, the somewhat of a tan that I get. I think this is really nice because they're not super pigmented. They're, they're all shimmers, yes, but I like to look glowy in the summer and that doesn't bother me. I doubt that I'm gonna get much use of this in the winter time, apart from maybe this highlighter shade. This one really, I need to play around with it because I expected more from it. It just doesn't seem to have much going on for it. So I don't know, that might be just the dud shade of the palette, but I actually really am happy with it. And then the eyeshadow palette, I really like, and I'm actually really happy that I, I actually went ahead and I bought this because I've been humming and ahhing about this palette for a really long time. I think they all came out last year with the star sign uh, shades, maybe even longer than that. And I always thought that the Virgo one looked really nice. There are a couple more that look nice, um, but I was really pleased that they did the Virgo with these grungy greens. And as I said, I have been on a green <laughs> phase at the moment. Um, maybe not so much what I'm posting, but when I'm not posting, I'm mostly just grabbing greens. It's been a lot of green looks lately, and I almost didn't do this video today because I thought I was wearing green earlier today, and I was like, wow, do I really want to put do another green look? But I do, and I'm so happy I did. Obviously, I would have been much happier if this was more like a super shock shade or some sort of topper shade and not a glitter, but it does look pretty stunning, and if you're careful with glitters, then it should be fine. There is quite a bit of fallout with that one, but the rest are really nice and I really like the, the softness of these shimmers and they have a lot more to them than I expected. I, as I said, I thought it was going to be a lot drier and they're not dry at all. And so, yeah, very, very happy. And I think the mattes looked really nice instantly as soon as I put them on. So that was really nice. It's always nice to play around with makeup that is a joy and easy to use and it's not a faff and you don't have to like sit there blending or trying to make it look nice for five minutes and I get frustrated. You know, there, there's definitely eyeshadow palettes or shades and eyeshadow palettes that I have where that happens and I'm like, gosh, can you not just do your job? Can you not just do it for me, please? But these ones, I'm actually really happy. I Let me know if you tried She Glam what your opinion of it is. If you have this palette, if you have the face palette, the freckle pen, anything like that, if you can recommend anything else, because I was going to get a full face of She Glam. I was going to get some foundation, 
a concealer. What else was I going to get? Um, definitely a lip tint. I did almost buy a lip tint. I do remember. And actually, I, I, I when I was unboxing, I thought somehow it got in the packaging, but it wasn't a lip tint. It was the freckle pen, which I completely forgot about, but I thought I got a lip tint because there were a few that I was eyeing up. But I am honestly really glad that I didn't get a full face. I don't really need all that stuff. Um, don't need this stuff, but I'm very happy that I have it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And if you would like to see me again, I hope that you do. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.